What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we got another classic gold farm and the uh, one that we're going to do now can be done at level 60 but it also is a lower level farm that you guys can go ahead and do if you're missing gold for level 40 mount or level 60 mount, whatever. And then Nikolai, a viewer of mine, he gave me uh, a tip to check out this farm. So I did, and it was better than expected. In this video, you're going to make gold on a lot of different things, right? But the main thing is the wild wine. So I love wild wines. I made like hundreds of thousands of gold off them in retail. And the reason why people buy wild wine is uh, for the green lens, which is a pre rate bis item for some classes. If you get the correct uh, stats on it, it's an engineering item. Uh, people need to craft a lot of them to get the correct stats. Like me for Frost Mage, for instance, I need the green lens of Frozen Wrath. Uh, it can uh, proc on it with a lot of different stats once you craft it. So you might have to craft a shit ton of them to get the correct stats. And also, it's needed for this set right here, the Dreamweave. So you need like six wild wine, four wild wine, and it's a basic in spirit and a spell uh, power items, like three of these items, and uh, they're actually pretty damn decent for uh, old cloth classes. So there's definitely a market for these. I did it for one hour, I got 12. However, when I first started out, I killed three mobs and I got three wild wines. So I was like, shit man, I'm gonna make a lot of gold. And wild wines on my realm right now, through 50 silver and I've seen them go for one uh, one gold and 50 so they it, I don't want to put a gold per hour on this farm like in the title or anything because the uh, economy in classic wow right now is really unstable and the prices they're just not steady enough uh, like across the entire region but 12 of these and I also got myself 78 mage weave cloth which is not bad some silk cloth nothing worth mentioning Got myself uh, two green items while doing this farm and a couple of grey items. So, also looted almost 4.5 gold raw just from uh, the mobs. So, uh, I also have roughly 4 or 5 gold in grey items that I can vendor. You also get the flask of mojo and uh, 18 of these, 45 silver. So, just in the raw gold that you pick up and the grey items that you vendor, you have like 8 to 9 gold. And in wild wine, you have like anywhere from six gold to like 18 gold. It really depends on uh, how much you can move them for. And another interesting item from this farm is the troll tribal necklace. These are used for a repeatable quest. You hand in five of these and you get 390 XP and like two silver and some reputation. But a stack of this shit is 1,600 experience. And you're up on my oak shots for 15 silver each, so like 3 gold a stack. And you'd be surprised at how many people are willing to uh, basically just buy XP, right? Because you're buying repeatable items, well, quest items that you can just hand in for some free XP. Haven't tried to post these myself though. It was just some people claiming to uh, have sold a ton of these. So I'm going to have to go and test it out to see if they actually sell. But even without the troll or tribal necklaces... I'm making like 16, 18 gold an hour on my realm with the current prices that I have. And that's fairly decent. And if you guys are at roughly this level of these mobs, like 45, like 44 and uh, higher, you're going to get XP killing the mobs, you're going to get gold while doing it, and you can even use the repeatable uh, items yourself for additional XP. So where does it take place? Well, this place takes, uh, well, this farm takes place in Hinterlands. And uh, these troll mobs are in this entire area. There's even some north, I mean, south of this river in small camps. I just found this place to be really, really steady. The Jinta Alor has a lot of elite mobs. However, all the elite mobs are uh, melee mobs. So if I have a Wii spec, I could have ramped up a bunch of them, maybe weed them down, and maybe my gold per hour would have been better. But I don't want to make a, like a mage specific gold farms, right? So I just solo targeted these mobs, and it's not like it's a mage only farm by no means. You guys can definitely do this on every single class. But that was also it for today's video. So if you had missed out on any of my old videos, 
I have the complete playlist with all classic wild gold farms linked at the top of the comment section. And if you don't want to miss out on any future classic uh, gold farmer videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you will be notified whenever I upload a video. So you're not the, uh, the last guy to know. And that is it for today's video. As I said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.